What's up guys, episode two, Off the Crossbar here. Today's topic, the, this week's topic, this thing that's been bugging me for the last week that went down in the sports world was Nashville Predators, St. Louis Blues were playing, and uh, Robert Bortuzzo ended up getting a four-game suspension for this. Let's recap what happened. So, Victor Arvidsson was in the crease next to the St. Louis Blues goaltender, Jordan Bennington. Was, uh, I don't know if he's just getting aggressive or whatever Whatever he was doing. He was in the crease, though. Bortuzzo decides it's a good idea, Bortuzzo now on the St. Louis Blues, to cross-check Arvidsson across the back. Arvidsson goes for it and hits his face. It looks like off the crossbar. Goes down pretty awkwardly. Looks like he's hurt. As he turns around and goes to kind of get up a little bit, Bortuzzo looks at the ref quick, looks back at Arvidsson, delivers another nasty check. He goes down. Obviously, Bortuzzo... Uh, did a. F this was absolutely freaking disgusting to watch. I watched the clip of it probably 10, 15 times, and it just ticks me off more and more to watch it. Now, the other part of this that ticked me off a little bit that should have been had a suspension or a fine or something is when Arvison was finally able to get himself up and get himself towards that bench. As he's getting up out of the crease after Bortuzzo skated away, Bennington gives him a nasty shove himself too. There should have been at least a suspension, I th or, a, or a fine, sorry. I don't know if there was going to be a suspension or not. Obviously, there wasn't. There should have been at least a fine, though. Bennington shouldn't get away. I don't know why he thinks he's a tough guy, too. The dude's like a 160-pound goaltender. Like, if somebody wanted to run him, they could. Not saying that's appropriate to do. Bortuzzo, though, getting a four-game suspension only ticks me off. Now, had it been his first dirty if or hit or first offense i can maybe understand that a little bit but bortuzzo was a repeated offender now a couple of years ago he did a nasty hit on brock nelson i believe his name was nelson was the last name of the new york islanders did a nasty cross check similar to this um i and got a suspension for that he's repeatedly doing these nasty hits last season actually before the blues turned around on one of this tremendous run to win the Stanley Cup. Bortu's actually got in a fight with one of his teammates at a practice. Like, the dude's a freaking hothead. Shouldn't have a place in the game. The Blues, though, obviously pay him to go out there and be this freaking goon, which goons shouldn't be in the game anymore. I don't know. The NHL preaches in one breath saying we got to get the dirty hits and got to get these nasty plays out of the game, but then they turn around and they only give out a four-game suspension when Victor Arvidsson, for example, is out four to six weeks with a lower body injury. Now, they're not saying exactly what the injury is, but they, the Nashville Predators did say because of the slash or cross-check, Victor Arvidsson is out for four to six weeks. Now, I know that the suspension should not match the injury. That's not. Okay, we can argue that. That's understandable. But four games for a freaking with intent to injure. Bortuz obviously wanted to hurt the guy. It wasn't just a playful shove. He intended on hurting the guy. Now, the other part of this that I can look back and really laugh at the four-game suspension is just a few games before that, a player was suspended. I don't remember the name. Doesn't matter. Was suspended three games for spitting at another player. So for spitting on a player, you get three games. Shouldn't a nasty cross-check or hit be at least six, seven, maybe ten games, maybe more, especially when it's a repeat offender? If it's only – if the difference between spitting on a guy and cross-checking guy in a vulnerable position is only one game, there's problems with the NHL that we're never going to be able to fix. The NHL is so far behind – what the other leagues are in. Look at the 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 Rudolph and Garrett thing that I talked about last week in the NFL there. A indefinite suspension for Garrett for the rest of the season. Now, had some so what happens if a by by the looks of it with the NHL, if a player takes his helmet off in hockey and whacks another player with it, what's he going to get? 4 games, 5 games, maybe 6. If there's repeat offenders or not repeat offenders, if you want to take these dirty plays out of the game, then you've got to come down and you got to throw the book at the guy. At least six games. I don't know. I think ten games. What do you think? Let me know how this, uh, how you would have t handled this if you were in the position of the NHL, which you, what kind of suspension you would hand it out. And, and like I said, go take a look at that, the clip of that if you hadn't. I think it's pretty nasty. Anyways, guys, thanks for tuning in. We'll see you next week. Adios.